So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 Spontaneous combustion. We about to walk. I'm eating this uh, lemon fruit bar yeah. from, the health, from the health store. Yeah. Uh, all, natural. all natural grain and granola and seeds. Oh yeah. That's how I do it. Damn, I'm still walking with these candles, man. Dang. It's all good though. You know what I mean? We about to go over here to Crystal Blue and um, see some gemstones and check them out. That's what there. This, good, Bill. This the Indian spot right there I was talking about. Mm. I'm cool. Bum, huh? I'm, I'm cool. cool. I'm cool. I ain't yes, yeah. Yeah, I'm what? cool. Less feeling. You say less feeling. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. You say it's less feeling? I'm. I, I, I mean, like. Why you don't want to do that? Woo. She do just try to give a, give a shout out back, David. <laughs> now what they do? Hey, my man, freestyling, man. We gotta go over there and get him on the damn camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be my man Gino. Go to all the shops over here. But I always come here to the Native American store. Huh? I always come over here to the Native American store and see my man Gino. What's up, Gino? What the hell? What's going on, Gino? Good to see my friend. You good? No, you sure? I got my um guy brother Gino. Brian How you doing, bro? Nice to meet you. Man. And Sabia. Nice to meet you, man. You know, I've just been recording them. Oh, cool. As we've been going out, you know, and right. about, you know, showing them a, land, a little bit of Atlanta five points cool. and stuff. That's cool. That's you know. Cool. I know. Well, now I got Gino here. Oh man, on, on camera. I on, can't believe this. Oh yeah. Believe this. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming embarrassed. Hey, how you doing? I'm becoming embarrassed. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What I do is I'll lift my foot, yep. go under my foot like that, and then and then replant myself in on Mother Earth. That's what I do. It's a way to do the same thing, and that keeps you grounded. It, it ties that cord to the to the earth that you know that you never lose when you're out there, when you're in that shaft of life. Yeah, that's why I actually I got the sage oil the other day. Yeah, home the sage oil. Yeah. Well, I get some stuff here, but you know we have a lot of people that actually go in hospitals and they can't burn sage in hospitals, and so yeah. we'll do essence of sage that they can, you know, spray in there without any harm to smoke. Oh wow. wow! So, so there's a lot of people that want to be cleansed and sage when they're in the hospital, you know, and they can't burn oh, wow. it there. Can't it ever it sounds good. So. Shit, that sounds definitely good. Yeah, you know, there's a, it's a, there's an amazing number of population in this in everywhere actually of people that administer to the dying and people that administer to, to the ones that they don't consider dying, but they're trying to heal, mm -hmm. you know. And that's the whole deal about all Indian herbs, is all Indian herbs, and most of what Indians did were, were prayer. Yeah. It was healing and, you know, things like that. You know, it's like even when you talk about, uh, you know, people come and say, oh, what about peyote and all that stuff? You know, that stuff was all used as an herb. It was used to, like, if a... Uh, please, uh, don't try to open this. Yeah, it's it's held down with, uh, with uh, pins and stuff like that. It'll break it if you open it. But what it was used for was vision quest. It was used for the shamans and used for an Indian who was, say, bipolar or depressed. They would go in, they would go with the medicine man or the medicine woman or the shaman or the shaman woman woman and they would go in there and they would take peyote with them under their control under their auspices and manifest their own fears in front of them and then defeat their fears which is very much like modern psychology yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. where you where you write your stuff down and don't ever send a letter or you put something objectify something and then send it away and things like that you know but and then the shamans used it as a vision quest to see into the future to see the uh, the uh, future of the tribe so that they knew if bad times were coming, they could, you know, get ready for it, things like that. You know, that was the whole part of the deal. And 
the Indian culture, as most tribal cultures, you know, uh, even in uh, in Australia and Africa, you know, well, probably not in China so much, but were matriarchal cultures. You have the, it was the female that did everything and carried up the entire deal. That's why so much of it remains in Indian is because, see, the, the white people who killed all of the elders and killed all of the Indian shamans and the Indian medicine men didn't really understand that that all that knowledge was carried in the wood. Yeah, it's too. That's you know, why they switched it. You know, it's like, you know, and so it's like, you know, the woman, actually to this day, if you follow the true Indian deal, then your 90-year-old great-grandmother who's 90 pounds and this tall, Tells her seventy-year-old son what to do. Yeah, I mean that's, that's the way we just started speaking about that. I know we always have a our society, you know, and that's part of the whole thing about family. That's part of uh, of like uh, uh, American racism when they brought African people from Africa. Not American everybody came from Africa. Though. We are the Indians. Oh, the people think that the whole deal is, is that people think that that black people didn't weren't here before before slavery. Yeah. Give me a break. Not everybody came from Africa, though. We are the Indians. Oh, the people think that the whole deal is, is that people think that that black people didn't weren't here before before slavery. Yeah. Give me a break. You know, it was like the, the Pope sent a bishop to Greenland in 1100 to do a, we a wedding in Greenland. You don't think that. You know, the Templars had a temple on the, the, the north side of the St. Lawrence River. But it was the Moors you know, that built it, though. You know, stuff like that. So it's all, you know, when you trace the DNA, it's all mixed. I always say if it came when they came over through the Bering Strait, how come there's no pyramids in Alaska? There's pyramids here. You know, there's pyramids here. Though. There's pyramids here. But did you did you check the uh, the ones in Peru that yes. they recently checked out the yeah. seven mountains in the row? Yeah, they found it's it's the first uh, the first. Uh, Observatory in the world. There were seven mountains that were pyramids, and it's, it was the first, the first observatory in the world. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. That's what's up, man? All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. You too, Yes, we'll do, man. Stay in the light, y'all. Stay in the light. My brother. You already know. Always. Always. My brother. I might want to get some of that. I might want to get some of that uh, sage. I gave I gave him a phone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got some. All right. Be cool. Um, yeah. Thanks, man. Gino hooked us yeah. up. So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 yes.